So they're building up this fear for the third version of the virus, right? Virus number three. I mean, it's the same virus, but this is the new variant of the original virus, right? So they're building up this, this fear and getting everybody prepared and it's sneaking under doors and it's in the airwaves and you could, two people in the hotel could get it and they were in separate rooms across the corridor. Now, we don't know what they were doing in the middle of the night. <laughs> I'm just saying. Welcome to Andrea Beeman Speaks Out. This is where you get access to uncensored, holistic, and alternative healing wisdom to support your body, mind, and spirit, and help you live a happier and more vibrant life while you're living on planet Earth in a perfectly designed human body. And you get it all without any bullcrap or nonsense. Let's dive into today's episode. Hello, everyone. I hope that you are enjoying the day and your life and you are steering clear of any unnecessary fear. Today, we're going to be talking about fear and how fear can inhibit your ability to live healthfully and happily in the world. I'll give you some examples. We all know that there is this um, third variant of the notorious virus that is out and about. New York declares a state of emergency ahead of potential Omicron spike. New York Governor Kathy Hochul has declared a state of emergency ahead of potential COVID-19 spikes this winter due to the already circulating Delta and newly identified Omicron variants of coronavirus. In her release, Hochul urged New Yorkers to get the jab. The vaccine remains one of our greatest weapons in fighting the pandemic, and I encourage every New Yorker to get vaccinated and get the booster if you're fully vaccinated, she said. And then I read another article, another lovely fear-driven article. Business Insider had this to say. The Omicron variant appeared to spread between two fully vaccinated people in separate hotel rooms in Hong Kong, early research suggests. Omicron appears to have infected two fully vaccinated men who were staying in separate rooms in a Hong Kong quarantine hotel. Researchers published the early findings in a letter in the Emerging Infectious Diseases Journal. Airborne transmission across the corridor is the most probable mode of transmission, they wrote. So they're building up this fear for the third version of the virus, right? Virus number three. I mean, it's the same virus, but this is the new variant of the original virus, right? So they're building up this this fear and getting everybody prepared and it's sneaking under doors and it's in the airwaves and you could, two people in the hotel could get it and they were in separate rooms across the corridor. Now, we don't know what they were doing in the middle of the night. (laughs) I'm just saying. (laughs) But according to the news, uh, you know, it can sneak under the doorways and, and get into where you are because it's airborne. So then we have to look at what's the reality of this newest variant. It it came out of Africa and um, it came out of Africa. That sounds like a movie. I think there was a movie out of Africa. (laughs) I think it was with Robert Redford a hundred years ago. (laughs) Or maybe it was Meryl Streep. That was it. I think it was Meryl Streep. Uh, So out of Africa comes this newest variant and the doctors that originally found the variant, the actual medical doctor who was working with the patients who had this new variant. So this is from Reuters News. A South African doctor who was one of the first to suspect a different coronavirus strain among patients said on Sunday that symptoms of the Omicron variant were so far mild and could be treated at home. Dr. Angelique Kudzi, a private practitioner and chair of South African Medical Association, told Reuters, Most of them are seeing very, very mild symptoms, and none of them so far have admitted patients to surgeries. We have been able to treat these patients conservatively at home, she said. She didn't use the word very once. She used the word very twice. She said very, very mild. And and when I looked at those very, very mild symptoms, it was like a runny nose. (laughs) A runny nose, a fever, Right, a cough. The news is at it again. So what do they have to gain from scaring you? Well, Business Insider has a lot to gain, right? There's a lot of financial gain there. Um, New York declares a state of emergency. That's to gain control over the people. 
And people aren't really having it, though, at least the smart ones aren't really having it. So I want you to consider this as if it were a movie. So I'll give you an example. In the 1970s, a movie came out named Jaws. And Jaws was scary, man. It's one of my favorite movies. I'm not, it's really, it's on the top of my list as one of my favorite all-time movies. I love Jaws. I think it was fantastic. Scared the crap out of me. I didn't go in the water the whole summer. Right? I was scared to death because of Jaws. Right? It was very, very scary. And then the sequel came out, Jaws 2. And we kind of knew what was going to happen in Jaws 2. You knew the shark was there. You knew the shark was coming. You know, don't go into the water in the shark infested area and don't cover yourself in steak juice before you jump into the water. <laughs> right? We know, we know all this stuff. So it was a little less scary than Jaws. It was still scary, but it was a little less scary than the original movie. And then we had Jaws 3. Now Jaws 3 was almost like a comedy. <laughs> Okay, Jaws 3, I mean, I, I think from what I remember, because I, I, I remember seeing it and going, oh my God, is that real? I think the jo Jaws would, like, it, it was either Jaws 3 or Jaws 5. I think it was Jaws 3, I'm not sure. Jaws would open his mouth and, like, roar like Godzilla, right? So you have this shark in the water. It would open its mouth, and it would roar like Godzilla, which is... Okay, sharks don't roar. And what we've discovered since um, Jaws in the 1970s, the sharks don't actually want to eat us. So they probably take a bite out of us and they go, that's awful. And they spit us back into the water. Now, of course, that's a dangerous bite, you know, and I'm not saying that, you know, go play in, with the sharks or anything like that. People do do that. I don't know why they do that, but they do. With that in mind, Jaws 3 being the comedy version of the series, I want you to think about this third variant as the comedy of the series, if you can. Literally, a runny nose, a sore throat, maybe a cough, right? <laughs> They're going to try and scare you to get you to go to the box office <laughs> to buy whatever it is that they're selling. But the truth is, it's mild. They're treating it at home, right? A cup of tea. <laughs> a chicken soup. <laughs> so I want you to keep that in mind. That as we move forward and the next variant and the next variant and the next variant and the next variant, as they all keep coming out, <laughs> right? That the fear is the virus and the media is the fear machine that is perpetuating this virus fear and all that stuff. So I want you to keep that in mind. And for those of you that are old enough, I believe it was in the 80s or the 90s. I forget, man. It, it just keeps, like the song that keeps playing in my head is Public Enemy. Don't believe the hype. It's a sequel, right? So he was talking about how the media was portraying him and, and other black people, right, as these criminals and all this stuff. And he was like, it's not true. Don't believe the hype. So I'm telling you right now, put on Public Enemy, dance around your apartment, don't be worried about a little cold that's now circulating all over the place. Don't believe the hype. It's a sequel. Okay? So I'm sending you a whole lot of love. Stay happy, healthy, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Big thanks and a whole lot of love for tuning in today. All we have in life is time, and I am honored that you spent your time with me. If you are inspired and want to learn more, Head on over to www.andreabeeman.com and sign up to receive updates about reclaiming your health and your happiness in the most delicious and easy ways.